Hello everyone, and as promised last week, I am back with a new speed paint video this week with commentary. So per usual, we will go over like the artsy talk and then the life slash fandom stuff. And just a fair warning, the life slash fandom stuff will probably outtime the artsy talk this week because there's just so much like life and fandom stuff I want to like babble about to you guys. So I'm just gonna like dive right into all the artsy stuff first. I am working in Paint Toolsci on my Wacom Intuos Pro Pen Tablet per usual. And this is Victor Nikivarov from Yuri on Ice in his Tama Vicino Duetto outfit from episode 12. This is the companion bus to go with the Yuri Kotsky bust from last week. So with this piece, I'm I'm at a level where I'm just content. I'm not particularly as happy with the Victor as I am with the Yuri. And I think that boils down to the whole challenge of fan art. I'm still trying to figure out how to adapt Victor into my personal style. Since I don't draw him as much as Yuri, I'm still in the process of um, figuring out how to adapt him right. But I think with time and a lot more pictures and a lot more practice, I will be able to adapt to Victor properly and I'll be far happier with the results. Also, I'm just going to be completely 100% honest, I'm kind of in a bit of an art slump right now. I, th I think it has to boil down to, boil down to, you know, how hard I worked on the Yuri bust and I was having a lot of trouble with his face so I got a bit down on myself about it and when I get a bit down on myself about my art I tend to kind of slump a little bit and when I get into an art slump I tend to flub a few things and I kind of did that with this piece for example his right eye is actually covered because I was running into the same like facial issue where I just could not get that facial feature right so I ended up just using his hair to cover it because at times you know his hair does cover that eye but I still feel like really bad that I couldn't work through it like I did with the Yuri bust and get you know get the eye uncovered properly like his hairstyle is for the duetto outfit but I find sometimes when I'm in a slump, if I try to like force myself through things, I end up running into burnout. And that's the last thing I want to do. I really don't want to burn out because it's, it's not a good experience when you burn out. So I tend to make art, but I tend to not force myself as hard as I normally would. And that's part of the reason I find I'm just... I'm just content with this bus because there's a lot of things that I would do differently but that's kind of like the glory of doing art is that once my slump breaks and I can break it I can always go back and redo redo this bust I can always go back and fix the hair in front of the eye and do all the things I originally wanted to do but for this bust sadly the motto was finished but not perfect and at times when you're in an art slump or you don't feel like forcing things that's all you can do is just get the piece done and walk away and you can always come back to it later so I don't feel particularly terrible because I can always come back and fix and redo Victor later so now I'm going to move on to the fandom and life stuff so this weekend well, last weekend now, I had taken my adventure to New York City for the Yuri on Ice pop-up shop at the Japanese bookstore. Um, I'm not going to try to pronounce the name because I know without it in front of me, I will totally butcher it. But it is the big Japanese bookstore across from Bryant Park in New York City. And we got there at like 9 a.m., and lined up and there was a decent line I was actually surprised we were kind of like in the middle and there's like a ton of people behind us and at 10 o'clock they let us in and I was kind of surprised to find there was like zero organization for this event basically they had the merch upstairs like all ready to go and they like looked at everybody and they were like good luck go at it so after grabbing and pulling and everything else I ended up getting quite a bit of merchandise and I'm like really really happy about sadly I could not get like the one thing I came for which was the Yuri on Ice volume 2 like wedding-esque flower bottle cap stands because animate like put up after the fact that volume 2 had been actually canceled so we didn't sadly get those 
but I did get like all of the ice cream stands that I wanted. I did pull my Victor and Yuri Volume 1 ice cream bottle cap stands, plus like all the other pulls that my friends and stuff wanted, so I'm like super, super happy with that. And as I like to say in that case, like the blind bag pull gods were on my side for the blind bags that day. It just, it made me so happy. Overall, it was 100% worth the trip because I got like so many like really good goodies and my friends had a really great time and they also got the goodies that they wanted to so it was totally worth it despite the uh, lack of organization and all the craziness. So on to the next thing and that is actually the Yuri on stage event that happened in Japan on Saturday. I sadly do not live in Japan so I could not attend. I could just, you know, follow it with bated breath on Twitter as I'm driving down to New York City. No, I wasn't driving, my husband was driving, so I was not reading Twitter and driving. So I'm sitting there waiting for the news, and apparently there was both an afternoon and an evening event. The afternoon event had a hilarious, like, live script reading, and then the evening event had, like, the big thing. So in the afternoon event, there was actually a live script reading. And the fans have dubbed it like Chihoko Gate or Sa Chihoko Gate. I believe like the official thing is like Victor and his friends or Victor and friends. And the big premise of this whole thing was that Yuri and Victor got really, really drunk and were playing like a rock, paper, scissors stripping game. And Yuri said something to Victor along the lines as he wasn't as flexible as Chihoko or Sa Chihoko, which is actually a statue on top of like Hisetsu Castle, or I believe it's it's based on Karakasu. Um, it's a statue of like this wolf fish thing that's like bent and it's like at a crazy angle or something. And Victor got jealous because he thought Yuri was talking about like a past lover. And it goes into this whole big thing of Yuri's, excuse me, not Yuri, Victor scaling Hasatsu Castle completely naked to challenge this Chihoko to like a stretching thing to prove to Yuri that he's better than Chihoko and the whole nine yards and it's chaos and it's beautiful. And actually I'm planning on maybe drawing a bit of like a mini comic or a piece to kind of go with the Yuri on stage event because there's this really kind of sweet scene where Yuri shows up to get Victor who's standing stark naked on the castle to get him down off of there and Yuri tells him to get down and Victor's like, oh, well, is this better than Chihoko? And then Yuri says something along the lines of he could search the whole entire world and nobody would be better than you. So it was like, a, it's a really sweet little like victory moment that I'd really like to like make a comic for or draw because I think it'd be really cute. So hopefully I get to do that and maybe that might bust my slump a little bit because I normally don't draw comics. So yeah, the, the Yuri on stage afternoon event just made me such a happy, happy soul. And I hope that um, when the DVD comes out in July, somebody takes the audio drama and actually like subtitles it so we, so us US fans can actually understand what's going on. Or if Funimation can pick it up when they do their DVD Blu-ray release, maybe they could get the event and subtitle it so the US fans can be spoiled a little bit and, you know, understand what went on during the audio, audio drama. And then we get into the evening event, which is the huge announcement. Sadly, we, re we didn't get an announcement for season two, which I'm a bit sad about. But we did get a movie announcement, and I'm just, I'm so excited, because it's an hour and a half to two hours of brand new content. I'm just, I'm so excited. And I've been in the anime fandom for over 20 years, and movies tend to have a lot bigger budgets, they tend to be nicely animated the whole nine yards, so I'm really, really excited to see the animation direction and everything for a Yuri and Ice movie. Plus, I'm curious like what, where they're going to go story-wise, because they can cover nationals, Europeans, four continents, and worlds, or they could just go worlds, or they could do an Olympics, or there's just so much they could cover, and that's really, really exciting. And plus, it's an hour and a half to two hours of just new Ice Dorks content, and that just makes me so, so, so happy. So yay, movie announcement! So I guess when they said, see you next level, they didn't mean a series, they meant a movie. Plus, with a movie, that can always lead into another season. 
So this video is actually going to be wrapping up. I'd like to thank everybody for watching and if you have any questions or comments or you want to babble about anime or Yuri on Ice, you know, just put your stuff down in the comments section and I will either answer questions in the next video or I will answer you down in the comments. So thank you for watching and I'll have another video really soon.